Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows tutorial. This tutorial is going to be based off of the program from Stardock called Start8. This time around, the program is back in beta mode. What I mean by beta mode is it's actually pretty better than what it is previously. Uh, if you guys use Start8, the third party program, you will know that it'll have a Metro like application to it. And if you go over here onto the Windows key by pressing on your keyboard, you'll be brought to the Metro. UI interface and down here if you wanted to go ahead and select all these options go in different sizes if you wanted to go ahead and log on at desktop or if you wanted to go ahead and show full screen Metro start app like this you can go ahead and do that but if you've noticed while I was inside the menu it has other options by other options it has a lot more features one of the features it gives you is the classic style menu and if I were to go ahead and click on that we have Windows 7 this usually gives you a Windows 7 style start menu with the Windows 8 enhancements users can go ahead and search for Windows 8 style Metro apps if I were to go ahead and go over here you have all your Metro style apps here. Users can go ahead and pin desktop and Metro apps. Another good thing is it has full support for jump lists, which you are seeing right here. It has a unified search. So if I were to go ahead and search for calculator, C-A-L, and I have it right there. Another thing that it does is users can boot directly still into the Windows 8 desktop instead of the Metro UI. It still has fast access to shutdown devices, music, documents, and more. So we have our shutdown menu again. We also have our switch user, log off, lock, restart, sleep, and hibernate. And we also have our fast access to our main user folder. That's I, I couldn't really ask for any more than what Start8 has already put in into this application. The Start menu, it's still customizable. So if you wanted to go ahead and pick a different Start Orb, you can go ahead and do that. Another great thing is uh, it gives you the option to go ahead and disable the desktop hotspots. So if I were to come over here, the charms bar, I have that popping up. Or if I were to go ahead and you know do this that pops up or this the other applications that are on the side these are all considered hot spots this is a hot spot right here so into the menu by right clicking if we were to go ahead and use the option by disabling the windows 8 desktop hot spots we can go ahead and click it and each corner is completely disabled you can't get to it all you have is just the windows 7 <laughs> start menu that's basically it so that being said, I think pretty much it also supports Windows FX 5.1 start menu animations currently in beta. I think that's a Stardock program. The Windows 8 start screen becomes accessible from the start menu. So if I were to go over here, by default, it's already pinned and I can go onto the UI. And the start menu size is fully configurable. So if I were to go ahead and give it a different size by clicking here, it's a little smaller. And uh, lastly, it adds options to the Win key to show the full screen Metro app still. So if you wanted to go ahead and uncheck this, you still have that option to go ahead and show the full screen like I mentioned before. So that's the biggest update we have for the Start 8, uh, the Start 8 beta that is. I'm actually happy. I plan on using the Metro Start menu still. For those that have always said, well, third party programs will never, you know, uh, amount to what Windows 7 was or what a Start menu was, um, they can they can go back and use this program and reconsider their opinions because it really doesn't matter anymore. Another great thing is that I what I notice is there have been talks about the Start menu itself being customizable. So the classic Start menu that used to be skinned and themed with other themes it's fully customizable as far as what I know and what I've been hearing so that's a good thing so if you are a theme person this is great because the theme people that make themes they will go ahead and want to have this application start eight that is because it still has the same kernels and shells and all this other stuff so yeah that's basically it so if you guys uh, have any questions if you want to go ahead and follow this further this will be my third installment in regards to start eight if they come into a final release I'll give you an update as what that final version consists of. And until next time, take care guys. Bye.